Good morning everybody. Today we're going to see if we can find the VIN number on this. There's some numbers stamped right here on the tongue. I don't know if I can get down close enough. Yeah, I'll get it cleaned off the wire brush and then we'll take another look at it. And we'll check the other side and see if there's any any more numbers on that. like about the only numbers. That can't read it, but it through the camera it says 16 16 35 so that's that's the number we used when we had the VIN verified with the police department so hopefully that's the the right number so did do a little work on the back got to wondering what the back lights and the wiring was looking like and all right so I tore into it it wasn't much holding it together about all there was was this lock seam right here on the on the siding Once I lifted the panel off of that, everything just basically fell out from underneath it. So, but I got a little better view of the back of stuff. Looks like that's where the 
water tank goes and the drain hole and the hole there in the side for the filler neck. You kind of see where it was routed through the cabinets and then up to the sink and then you can kind of tell where the sink drained down through the cabinet underneath and over here to where the floor goes out through the floor. There's a second hole there I'm assuming that's for, I think they call it shore water where you hook to the city and use city pressure. And I think it come back, went through that hole right there and then up to that spigot right there. But I'm not quite sure how the hookup for the uh, the shore water is actually hooked to the trailer. Now on my Layton, walk over here and we'll take a look at it. That's why the shop is full of long care stuff. Now on this is my Leighton fifth wheel. And it has a hookup like this for the shore water. And I'm wondering if there's something like that that's underneath on that little canned ham trailer. So but I'm and I'm wondering if this is the type of filler neck that should be used on that little trailer too or whether there's a vintage type water filler neck or whatever. I have to do a little research and figure that one out. So until we get out here and work on it again I guess that's it. We'll uh, see all you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.